the Empire Fight Camp. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. About time. Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. And now it's time for the official introductions, and for that, we go to the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. And of course, we fight... And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Can't score with the right hand. Nice exchange here from both men. Both of these athletes' gas tanks are going to be tested. Endurance will be the key on an afternoon like this one. Our tactics are everything in this heat. The corner man, that one minute, that one minute is going to be everything. He's got to give you the instructions. He's got to cool you down, calm you down, patch you up and send you out there confident. It is so hard when you're in a fight and it's outside in that heat. Neither man really defending themselves. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice job landing that left counter punch. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He blocks the jab. Perfect counter shot. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. When are we going to see a jab from these two? And a counter left. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Hey! Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Here we go. It's round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Left punch. Nice shot with the left.
They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Counter right. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You'd like to see more jabs. Great counter right hand there. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Right punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to quick burst, boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Fantastic punch. Both men step back for just a moment. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He misses with that jab. <laughs> And he just missed with that left jab. You'd like to see more jabs. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches.
Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. As back. And there's the bell for round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walked right through it? The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. That left counter punch will score. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Hey, those punches add up. There's a right hand. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to outthink him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag and a pickpocket them. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got, oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. What a punch. They both want the knockout. They score with that left hand. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is in big. And there's the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. And he misses with the left uppercut. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense as training camp. Both men step back for just a moment. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? 
now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. That left scores. No power in those punches. He missed with that jab. That counter shot lands. Perfect punch. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the... Let's, Let's start to six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not gonna hurt anybody. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. He threw the hook, didn't land. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This is all about ego. And safety is out of the window. Tactics are out of the window. They don't need gloves. They need beer glasses. The way they're fighting, this is ridiculous. Catch and shoot. You'd like to see more jabs. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. And he fails to score with that left hook. Hook misses. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. And time! Well, you don't see it very often, but here it is. This fight ends in a draw. What a fight. What a battle. I'm exhausted watching it myself. And you know what? I'm happy it's a draw because... Nobody deserved to lose and nobody deserved to win. These guys put it on the line.